Hey guys, it's Miss Allen. I thought today that we could do a winter landscape theme since we are about to be hit by some pretty cold weather here where I live. Um, this is not going to be a very hard project, but I think you're going to really like it. We are going to make some snowy trees. Um, with a really cool watercolor looking sky, but we're not going to use paint for this sky. We're going to use some art tissue paper to make that sky, and it's going to be so much fun. It's one of my favorite types of projects. Um, I hope you guys are ready, and let's get started. So for this project, you're gonna need a piece of white paper, and I cut mine kind of smaller, and it's a nice thick piece of paper. This is cardstock, but if you have a watercolor paper, it would be a lot easier for this project. You're also gonna need a Sharpie, or some other type of permanent marker, a brush with some water, and some colored tissue paper. Now this tissue paper I found out recently has to be a certain type of tissue paper. It has to say it's specifically for bleeding art. And I think if you search art tissue, this is what you'll get. Um, and all that means is that it's going to let whatever color this is, whatever color you have in the paper, when we wet it, it's going to let it bleed onto the paper. It's going to kind of dye it like we're painting with it. Um, but it has to be art tissue instead of just any old colored tissue paper. I found out the hard way, but let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a couple of very simple trees. Now, you do not have to do this type of tree. If you want to do something a little different, that's fine. But I like how these looked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a nice tall line on my paper and I'm going to give it a couple of branches. Now the branches if for this type of a tree are going to be smaller near the top and they're going to get bigger as it goes down. So when I do this I'm going to start near the top. I'm going to make two little curved lines off of the top. I'm going to slide down my tree I'm gonna make two more of those little curved lines and they're a little bigger. Slide down the tree, two curved lines, a little bit bigger. And you see what I'm doing? I'm gonna do that all the way down. Now, that's one. I can do a second one kind of up here that might be a little smaller because this one's gonna be more in the distance. So I'm gonna make I mm, want it taller than that one though. Little line. And then the same thing with the branches. All right, so those are real simple. You can add more to these if you'd like to to make them look more like trees. Um, like I said, I kind of wanted simple ones. I might even add real quick up at the top. Just two little ones at the top just to really force that tree look to it. Um, but now that we have this very simple tree drawing done, we can do um, the fun part, which is the tissue paper art. Now, I went and got a piece of scratch paper that I didn't feel um, the need to worry too much about, but it's to make sure my table doesn't get dyed. This paper will dye your table. We don't want to stain your table or your mom's table, whoever's table it is. You need some water and a paintbrush. And this um, landscape is going to have some snow at the bottom and the nice night sky at the top. So I'm not going to make all of this with the tissue paper. I'm only going to do about half. And when I do half, I want to make sure that the trunks of my tree are in the white. So I can't go much further than that on my paper so that this trunk is in the snow. So first things first though, I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to make myself a line across. And I'm just going to paint the top of my paper with water. I'm 
But once you have it painted with water, it's, you will have to move pretty quick. You're gonna take a piece of tissue paper, you're gonna lay it down, and you're gonna paint over top of that tissue paper to seal it to the paper. And all I'm painting with is water here. Now this is kind of the fun part. You can see it's already kind of bleeding around the edges there. Um, but you can use any color that you want. You can mix colors, anything you want. But I'm just gonna paint from here up using my tissue paper. So once I have about halfway up, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to gonna very quickly go over top of that tissue paper again with a coating of water. Now that we have that done, we're going to wait. I have to let this dry for at least five minutes five minutes guys and then once it's dry you can peel off the paper so it's dry or dry enough for us to take off the tissue paper uh, I have a paper towel over here because this might stain um, still a little bit when you might get a little bit on your fingers it'll be okay but I'm just gonna start peeling up my tissue paper nice <laughs> to reveal my picture underneath so now you can see that we have some pretty cool night skies and it's still a little wobbly um, but I'll hold it up here in a minute so we can see it a little better but once you have this tissue paper on here throw it away don't mess with it don't squeeze it but we did pretty good, I like it. So we have our fun little trees now and you can see that the colors stop right about here which is where I wanted it to because now it looks like there's some trees standing in the snow. If you wanted to, you could take white paint and once this is completely dry, it's still a little wobbly, but once it's completely dry, you can put little white dots on this picture and it would make it look like stars which would be really really cool but i hope you guys had fun and i'll talk to you later bye